Hello again, class. So I just wanted to briefly show you um, how you can look at labor market trends and looking at what careers are going to have a bright outlook, meaning that there's gonna be a lot of openings for these kinds of careers. Um, and depending on where you're looking at this job. We spent the last four weeks going through career exploration and we used this website, ONET. So this is a really great website because as you saw, you could do your assessment, you could research different jobs connected to your assessment in different job zones, depending on what level of education is needed. And here, when you're on the home page, you can also just search and browse different occupations. And here it has a filter, right? So bright outlook is something that we definitely want to look at because we want to see what types of jobs are going to um, have a bright outlook in terms of openings and where. So if you click there, it says bright outlook occupations are expected to grow rapidly in the next several years. We'll have large numbers of job openings or a new and emerging occupations. So then you can choose another filter. Do you wanna look at rapid growth, numerous job openings, new and emerging, all bright outlook occupations. You can choose that, click go. And then you can see all the different types of oops, <laughs> bright outlook careers and what categories they fit in. Are they rapidly growing? Are there numerous job openings, et cetera? So this is a really great way if you're still you know, considering what do you wanna work towards? What career do you want? And we're gonna be talking about higher education this week so you can look at, okay, once you kind of figure out what career you want, then we need to know what level of education are you gonna need? Are you gonna need a certificate, an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD? It's different for each career. So this is a really great way to utilize this website as well. So I encourage all of you to do so. Let's jump over now to our intro to higher education lecture. Okay, so here I've listed a couple different logos from different schools. Um, Santa Monica College is a community college, UCLA is a UC, Cal State University Northridge, which is also known as CSUN, is a CSU, USC is a private university within California, Arizona State University is an out-of-state public college, University of California, Irvine is another UC and Cal State Long Beach is another CSU. So we're gonna be talking about first, the different levels of higher education and where you can get these particular degrees or certificates. So if we start here at the bottom, certificate, this is gonna be the lowest level of higher education you could acquire. So a certificate is typically a series of specialized courses all related to a particular occupational skill. So this is something that you could get at a community college if you wanted to get a certificate. This could be something like if you want to do cosmetology um, or bar, become a barber or want to just get an accounting certificate, you would just be taking classes in that specialization. If you go up another level is an associate's degree. Now for an associate's degree, you need at least 60 units. Remember our class is one unit. A unit is basically the hours of class time you're putting in. So you need 60 units and within those 60 units, you're completing general education courses and then major courses based on the major you choose. If you go up higher in this pyramid, you can get a bachelor's degree. So for a bachelor's degree, you need at least 120 units. You're looking at on average about four years and that's gonna be completed at a university. I should have mentioned an associate's degree you would get at a community college, a bachelor's degree at a university. After you get a bachelor's degree, if you wanna move forward or if you need it to enter a career that needs more education, it would, the next one would be a master's degree and then a doctorate. So a master's degree is also called a graduate degree. You can get a master's of arts or a master's of science or a master's in business administration or a master's in fine arts. So for example, 
I got my bachelor's degree in cultural anthropology at UC Santa Cruz. And then I decided to work as a preschool kindergarten teacher for five years and then decided I wanted to move forward in a different career. And so the career that I wanted to do was become a counselor at a community college. In order to become a counselor, I did have to go back to school and get a master's. So I got a master's of science in counseling psychology. So I did about two more years of school full time, um, working and also going to school to get my master's degree so that I could then go into this career. So this is an important part of career exploration is looking at, and this you did this in your projects um, last week, is looking at, okay, what is my end goal? What's a career or job that I want? And what level of education and how many years of school am I gonna need to put in to complete this goal? Some careers or jobs may require a doctorate degree or a professional uh, school degree. So you could be getting a doctorate of education, a doctorate of philosophy. So this is mostly for people that want to get a PhD or attend dental school, law school, medical school, et cetera. So let's talk about the different types of higher education institutions in California. There are essentially four types of post-secondary education in California. So first of all, there's UC campuses. There's 10 UC campuses and I'll be showing a map on the next slide. Apologize, it keeps jumping this PowerPoint. Then there's 23 California State Universities, also known as CSUs or Cal States. I'll also be showing a map where those campuses are located. For community colleges, we have 110 community colleges alone in just in California. So there's lots of options. And then we have hundreds of private universities and colleges, such as USC, Loyola Marymount, Pepperdine, just to give you an example of a few. So this is just in California. So there's lots of different options. There's also out of state options where you're gonna find other public and private universities out of state. At California Community Colleges, like LA Mission College is a California Community College, you can work towards an Associate of Arts, an Associate of Science, or an Associate for Transfer. An Associate for Transfer is a transfer guarantee program between the California Community Colleges and the Cal State Universities. To get, if you get an Associate degree for transfer, you're given priority consideration when you apply to transfer to the Cal State, you get a 0.1 GPA bump when you go to transfer. It ensures you'll complete your bachelor degree within 60 units at the Cal State. And it also is a backup in that if you don't get into the campus you want, the Cal State system will hold a space for you on a campus that has space. So this is something you'll definitely wanna talk about with a counselor. If you end up going to a community college first and you wanna to transfer to a Cal State, getting an associate degree for transfer can be a really good idea. So for community colleges, they're typically known as two-year schools. On average, if you're a full-time student, you can typically complete an associate's degree in two years. Some students, it may take longer depending on life circumstances, if you're working, if you have family responsibilities, and if you can't do full-time every semester, it might take a little bit longer. Also, students often change your major or pursue a major that requires a lot of units, and that could take a little bit longer. Like I mentioned earlier, to get an associate's degree, you'll be completing general education courses. And we'll be talking more about that next week, what that means, as well as major courses, depending on the major that you're choosing. These are the different types of programs that you can follow at a California community college. Certificate programs, like we mentioned, they're typically about 18 to 30 units. You're focusing just on a certain specific occupational or vocational program. And the examples include cosmetology, computer programming, accounting, early childhood education. Um, if you wanna go farther and get an associate's degree, you need at least a 2.0, you need to complete 60 units and you're completing general education courses on your major. Community colleges also have transfer programs. So we will help you transfer into a four-year university, which typically is a much more affordable way to attend a four-year university. Um, we also have something called the LA College Promise Program, which if you're eligible, you get your first two years at community college in California free. 
And as for transfer, it's very similar to an associate's degree in that you're working on your general education courses and your major lower division prep courses to be able to be a competitive applicant to the schools that you're interested in transferring to, whether it's a Cal State, a UC, a private school, or an out-of-state school. And some people also just attend community colleges for personal enrichment, and you can take classes of general interest, or if you have to do some career advancement courses, or you just want to learn perhaps a new language or a new dance, that's also an option. So the Cal State University system is a high quality, accessible, student-focused higher education. It has 23 campuses throughout California. As you can see in the map, they're all over in Northern California, Central California, and Southern California. They have at least 405,000 students throughout the system. It's the largest and the most diverse and most affordable university system in the country. So here, our local Cal States are gonna be Cal State LA, Cal State Northridge, Cal State Dominguez Hills, Cal State Long Beach, and a little bit farther out, we have Pomona, Fullerton, San Bernardino, and Channel Islands. In the Central Coast, we have San Luis Obispo, Bakersfield, Fresno, Monterey Bay, and then we have all these in the Northern California area and then Southern California area. So there's lots of choices. CSUs offer different kinds of degrees. They offer bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, doctorals, and then credentials and certificate programs as well. Typically, the application cycle, you're going to be applying between October 1st and November 30th, and you apply a year ahead. So whether you're applying straight out of high school to a Cal State or you're applying from a community college to a Cal State, you will be applying a year ahead. Typically, on average, it will take about four years to get a bachelor's degree from a Cal State. Most students now take five to six years because you may have other things coming up. If you're transferring from a community college, you'll be looking at about two to three years at the Cal State after you transfer, depending on your major. Now, the UC system is one of the world's largest and most distinguished centers of higher education. It totals about 125,000 students and offers more than 200 undergraduate majors drawn from a vast array of courses that range from anthropology through zoology. These is the, this is the map of the different campuses. So the ones that we have closest to us are gonna be UCLA, UC Irvine, UC Riverside. In Southern California, south, more south of us, we have UC San Diego. And up north, we have UC Santa Barbara, Merced, Santa Cruz, Berkeley, and Davis. UC Merced emphasizes on science and engineering. So if you are interested in science and engineering, that's definitely a campus to look into. And UC San Francisco is a graduate studies health science only. So it would not be for an undergraduate program. At the UC system, the degrees offered are also bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, doctoral degrees, and professional degrees. Typically it takes about four, year, four to six years if you're starting out at a UC. And again, it's a little bit different if you're transferring, you might be looking at two years at the UC once you transfer out of a community college. So let's talk about the differences between the Cal State University and the Universities of California. The Cal State University, also known as CSU, um, is a, a system that grants bachelor's and master's degrees and they have a practical hands-on and they are career oriented. So the assumption is that most CSU graduates will want to enter work based on their bachelor's degree training. The University of California, also known as UCs, provides bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees. And it's based on theoretical learning and research. And it has the assumption that most UC graduates would pursue a higher degree before entering their career. But this can go both ways for both schools. You might major in something in your undergraduate and you might work for a little bit after, after you get your bachelor's degree, and then you might decide that you want to go back and get a master's degree or, or more to go on into another career. There's just in California alone, there's 74 campuses of independent colleges and universities with 125 different majors available. There's 24 traditional liberal arts campuses, 20 small comprehensive universities, four major research universities, 
10 two and four year specialized colleges in the arts and sciences, 25 faith related colleges and universities, three traditional women's liberal arts colleges, four colleges and universities specifically for working adults with night and weekend programs, and nine freestanding graduate and professional schools. So a lot of different options when you're looking into the world of higher education and whether you want to apply directly to a four year university or attend a community college first and then transfer. Here is a list of all the different independent colleges and universities within California. So there's a lot of options. There's a great difference in the size and educational purpose and the emphasis among these institutions. Some are large and offer both undergraduate and graduate programs, but most independent colleges and private colleges are relatively small and offer students a personalized campus community life. So some campuses emphasize a particular vocation or religious emphasis. Um, and private schools offer the full range of degrees from associate degrees to doctorate degrees, as well as professional degrees. So for my master's program, I did end up attending um, Mount St. Mary's University in Los Angeles, and it was a private school. So it was a little bit more, um, not as affordable as a UC or a Cal State, but the program worked for me and my schedule because I was working during the day and the timeline of the program um, really worked for, for what I wanted to do. So obviously there's a lot of choices as you go forward and you guys do have, you know, you're in ninth grade. So you have a lot of time um, to think about what kind of experience you want in higher education, what kind of institutions interest you. Do you want a smaller liberal arts school? Do you wanna to go to a UC? Do you wanna to go to a Cal State? Do you wanna go out of state and try something new? College is really a time to take advantage to experience new environments, meet new people, um, and take yourself out of your comfort zone. Once you're in um, approaching, whether you're still in high school or you go to community college and you wanna transfer, you wanna definitely talk to your counselors about all the different options available. So you can do research and look at what is needed to apply and get into these schools. 